Hi, it's Brad from Trans Audio Group, and I'm here today with the ATC drivers and parts. We've talked about low frequency drivers, we've talked about mid frequency, now I'm here with tweeters. And uh, tweeters, these are devices, right, that just handle all the high frequency stuff. So everything is sort of scaled down. But what's interesting here is that because they're small parts, you always think, oh, they don't cost very much to make. Tweeters are really an important thing because your ear is pretty sensitive around, you know, this sort of uh, 4K on up. Most people can hear that, and you're very sensitive to distortion at these areas. So different tweeters sound make a speaker sound very different. And recently, about two years ago, three years ago, ATC went through a tweeter upgrade where we switched over from an OEM tweeter that we bought from someone else, a very good manufacturer, um, to our own tweeter. And that's what you see here. This is the ATC tweeter. You can always tell because it has made in England by ATC etched in the bottom of the tweeter here. But this is a tweeter with its own waveguide. This little part right around here is a waveguide. From the mid-range video, you saw how I, we had a bigger flange around it. That was a larger waveguide. This is a much smaller one. It's smaller because it's a higher frequency. Higher frequency is shorter waves. So this tweeter is brand new. It came out just a couple years ago, and we're using it now. And everything except our super high power speakers, the SEM 200 and 300. And the reason is we are still working on the super high power version of this ATC tweeter. But right now, this is, uh, appears in all of our loudspeakers with the exception of the 25. The 25, we're still buying an OEM part, and, um, but everything else uses this tweeter. Now, comparing this to somebody else's here, where I showed you the back, take a look. This part here is the magnet and motor assembly, right, for the ATC tweeter. We're going to show you close-ups and... Uh, here in just a second on this very picture. But now you can see this tweeter. I mean, the weight between these is night and day. This is heavy, and this is not. This is a very small tweeter. This is, um, uh, and it's a good tweeter. We, we actually use this in a speaker. And, um, but it's very small compared to ATC, meaning the motor is small. It has much less power handling capability, meaning less SPL output capability than this part does. And this part is also designed for very low distortion. It is very much like the mid-range uh, that you saw in the, our mid-range video, where it has two suspensions. Same thing here. There's actually two suspensions on this tweeter. And where we use a very special um, magnet and motor assembly and to get more power out of this thing. So this particular tweeter is sort of a miniature version of our mid-range. And it's very low distortion. People that have heard their speakers with the old tweeters in it, and then they get an upgrade. They bring our speakers here, and we upgrade it to the new tweeter. They can hear a pretty dramatic difference. It's much smoother. It sounds clearer. There's, it doesn't bite it, when you play it louder. It doesn't go into distortion. It doesn't have as many ring modes. Ring modes are just like where one area of the spectrum becomes very lo much louder than the rest of the areas. So it sounds like, kind of like ringing. Um, so this tweeter here, the ATC S tweeter, is a fantastic part. And it's now really kind of finished out the parts in ATC that really make a big difference. So uh, you can check out more information about this on our website, which is www.transaudiogroup.com, or you can look at ATC's website. So. Uh, Tweeters, thanks for watching. I appreciate you uh, paying attention to this. We'll talk soon.